At the school board in the East met to decide who will fill a vacant seat on their school board following a resignation. Keith King recently left to join the county commissioners after one of the commissioners abruptly left. Jalen Holloway was at the school board meeting tonight and is live now with more. Jalen. Yeah, Dave. Well, this Lenore County Board of Education District 2 seat has been vacant since the beginning of last month. However, Chairman Bruce Hill tells me that they have been working diligently to hire the right replacement for Keith King, who was recently sworn in as the newest county commissioner following the shocking resignation of Chad Rouse. The past month and a half has been a grind for the Lenore County Board of Education as they've looked to fill an open board seat. However, that search finally came to an end on Tuesday. Uh, we are excited, you know, to have a new member. Anytime we have an election to have a new member, we are excited. The seat was previously held by Keith King, but he resigned and went to join the county commissioners in December after former Commissioner Chad Rouse resigned following his firing from the police department, which they say stemmed from policy and procedure violations. On Tuesday, the Board of Education voted 4-2 to two for community member John Wiggins to fill the seat on the school board. Now, Hill says that Wiggins was one of two applicants to apply for the vacancy, but he believes the board will welcome him with open arms. When I got elected, I thought I knew a lot about it, but I found out real quickly I didn't. So it takes a lot of you know, educating yourself, and uh, we do have uh, training sessions for new board members, so we, you know, we hope Mr. Wiggins would uh, be willing to uh, you know, make himself available to those training sessions and, and try to learn as much as can about a board member so we can all be on the same page and all work together. Despite the change, Hill says King will always be family. We are hoping that we, now that Mr. King, who was a former board member, is on the county commissioner, we'll have a, you know, still have a good relationship, and he'll be able to help advocate for the school system because he, he was an advocate for the school system and for the students when he was on the board. Now Wiggins will be sworn in at next month's Board of Education meeting, which will also be his first official first meeting with the board, Dave. All right, thanks, Jalen. And Wiggins will hold the District 2 seat until the end of November.